So this is my little video at the request of Susie on my Midori Traveler's Notebook. So you get this elastic band that wraps around the cover. It's a leather cover. Um, I just put this little charm on there. It's a scrapbooking thing. <laughs> and we'll open this up. But in terms of the size, you can see like comparison to my hand or you want um, comparison to a Moeskina, here's one, the large, next to it. So I'll back up here so you can see. So it's a little bit taller, slightly taller on the top. It's more of a, um, a landscape. So this is a cover that's a slightly longer. So I'll open it up. And these are all the attachments and little paraphernalia that I can get. So this is like a little um, sleeve that you, plastic sleeve that you can get. You attach it. It attaches fine here or some people attach it to the individual notebooks. Um, I bought this little plastic sleeve here and this is a zipper sleeve. And so there's two sides to these things and you slip it onto one side and then I decided to have it at the way back on the other side here. But you, okay, of course you could just put it in between one notebook. Um, but basically on this side it's just a little pocket and I just put some stickers in here. But if you want to look at how it's kind of put together on top. Um, so you see you could fit roughly three notebooks in here. So I got the original notebook that came with this, with this cover. I got a craft notebook here. And then I have a, um, just a lined notebook back here for writing. Now you're probably wondering what these things are. Those are rubber bands that help you put one notebook next to another notebook and next to another notebook. And I'll show you more about that later. So moving back to this, um, this is the original notebook I got. You have kind of a craft cover and it's like a sketch, very thin sketch paper. So you have a craft cover and kind of design that. You can make it your own, open it up. Um, there's an empty box here. And then I just made these little rocks here. Um, as you can see this, this is actually a little mistake that happened on this side when I tried to use a Copic marker and it bled through. So I stopped that real quick. Um, but otherwise you can use uh, colored pencil, ink, um, you know, this is acrylic paint. Uh, so it, it's pretty forgiving and then uh, one of the things that I want to like um, think about is maybe making some sort of hard plastic thing or something that we could I could slip in between here because because I've been noticing since the paper is fairly thin, what happens is when you're drawing, if you're putting hard pressure on one side, then this back this image will you know obviously kind of like a carbon paper lift onto this side. So as you can see, I started erasing it because some of this image started going on here. But otherwise, as you can see, you know, it's really thin paper, but look at this, it's amazing. It held up to all of this acrylic paint. And then this is just really me being careless. Um, some of this, I started painting this to get it prepared and obviously I got some on this side. And this again, uh, acrylic paint, you know, a lot of acrylic paint here. Um, and really, I mean, other than initially when it's drying, it might warp a little bit like this, but you know, flatten it out with a book and it's perfectly fine. Um, I did use watercolor as well, but I can't show you this because this is going to be uh, a blog post, a guest blog post. Um, so moving along. So that's the finish it, finished bit about the first original notebook. And then here is another attachment that I got, which is a credit card plastic sleeve. And all together, it actually holds 12 credit cards. So you have the three here, three here, and of course, remember these plastic things are two two sided. So the other side, I decided to fit all the way towards the back. So again, you have three in the here, three in the back. You could put it in between each notebook, um, which might be better, but I kind of liked it in the back. So this is the second notebook, the craft notebook, and so here's the explanation of the rubber band. So what it is, is 
you put a rubber band in between this notebook right in the middle and then the, the next notebook so you see it right here and that essentially attaches this notebook to this notebook and then so, so forth and so on so I put another rubber band here in the middle here to attach it this craft notebook to my um, writing notebook so that's the explanation of that um, so what is this thing? You're probably seeing this little key here. Um, this is the excess thing that people use for a uh, bookmark. I just attached a little key to it. A lot of people put little charms and stuff. Um, so that's a little fun thing about that. Um, other than that, uh, right now, you know, I'm still kind of moving into this. Uh, I may actually use the craft later on book later on um, and get a 2014 calendar I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that yet because I have this really great little um, planner kind of like the size of a comp this composition notebook that you know I've been kind of working in um, adding you know little bits and pieces of my life for that week and you know um, images and stuff like that so I'm not quite sure if I'm going to continue on with this for 2014 or if I'm going to try um, a Midori size planner and working with that. So that was my little thing on the Midori. Um, hope you liked it. Thanks.